is oh so close. Lauren Hill is hoping to raise a million dollars for cancer research before the end of the year, and she is inching oh so close to that goal. A phone bank been taking pledges all day. Donations at the Woodlawn headquarters for the cure starts now. And Jeanette Levy is live at that phone bank where she talked to Lauren and has an update total for us. Hi, Jeanette. Hi, Brad. Just 8,000 left to go. Not very much in just like 45 minutes or so that we have left. $8,000 so that Lauren Hill can meet her million dollar challenge. We talked with Lauren just a short time ago. She issued this challenge. As we all know, she is battling DIPG. She was overwhelmed by the support that she's received and by people's generosity. Here's a little bit of what she had to say earlier. I'm just so happy that this having this big of an impact. And I want to thank everyone for <laughs> donating and helping research and making a difference for the future and for everybody that's going through DIPG and all the parents that didn't get to spend the Christmas with their child this year. And back out live, you are looking at a group of volunteers. They are taking these phone calls live as I speak. 513-326-3845, that is the number to call to donate. Just under 50 minutes le left. And as you can see, Lauren Hill is being wheeled into the room here, into the phone bank room. And I think that we're going to have some type of special announcements coming up. I see a check coming out, and uh, Lauren looks very happy. Everyone here is very happy. There's been fantastic energy here all day today. Lauren is joined by Brooke Deserick. She is, of course, the co-founder of The Cure Starts Now. Um, her daughter actually had DIPG as well and unfortunately passed away from the disease. So they have been partnering with Lauren Hill, joining her with her parents here. Um, this is all Lauren's project. Brooke told me earlier she thought it was crazy when Lauren said, I want to raise a million dollars by December 31st. Uh, she thought it was nuts, but she got to know Lauren. She saw the passion that Lauren had for this cause, and she realized that she could do it. So this is a very exciting moment for Lauren, for the Deserics, for Lauren's family. It's been absolutely fantastic. And I think right now we're getting ready for Brooke to make some sort of announcement. So I'm going to get in here so I can hopefully uh, bring this announcement here to you live on television. It looks like Brooke and Lauren have something to say. So uh, just as we were waiting for the last $9,000, we received a walk-in anonymous donation of $116,000. Uh, they did not want to be known, but uh, it was an incredibly generous donation, uh, uh, lots of tears in the room, um, but it's incredible, and I'm so, so excited to be able to share this with you, um, and thank you so much to Cincinnati for, and the nation for rallying behind Lauren and making an incredible difference in cancer research, and I, I know we'll find that home run cure. Yeah, this is amazing, reaching this goal is <laughs> amazing. I didn't even, I mean, to reach it this fast and to have so many people that care enough to donate. Thank everybody that's here. Thank you, everybody that donated and that are still donating. And I hope that the donations don't start or don't stop with this. You know, keep on donating to research and, and uh, keep our, on helping. Our anonymous donor gave her a temporary tattoo. You've got to show that. Yes. It says, Today Today's is the day. day. Today's the day. I reached my million dollar goal. Thank you so much. Nice job, there you have it. The phones are still ringing here. Lauren, how does it feel? It feels good to reach my million dollar goal. <laughs> it's a lot of money. Yeah, it's a lot of money. It's going to help a lot of a lot of people. And it's so it's so amazing to know that you know, I'm not just going to be another statistic for DIPD like another kid lost on a piece of paper to be put away. I'm going to make a difference and make an impact. And hopefully no kid and no family will have to be a statistic on a piece of paper anymore because they're going to find a cure, they're going to find a better treatment. 
they're going to find something that helps them live longer. Because, I mean, just a little kid five years old, that's not enough. It's not enough. And the fact that everyone's donating and they care, it's just amazing. Maybe you can push into that $2 million goal now, right? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Keith might doubt me. <laughs> but he said he, don't, he said he won't doubt me anymore. <laughs> Lauren's next challenge, $2 million. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We have another one. All right. Well, there you have it. Lauren Hill meets her goal. Brad Johansson, I know you probably couldn't be happier about this at this moment. <laughs> Thank you very much, Anjanette. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Outstanding. We'll be right back.